choose number three. It's my absolute favorite. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be going over, as you can tell from the title, seven of my absolute favorite cozy, neutral, warm, fashionable winter coat options that I rewear season after season and I just love them. And if there are any recommendations that you're gonna take, choose number three, it's my absolute favorite. So getting right into it, starting with number one, we've got the Statement Coat. Now this one, as you can tell, is houndstooth and this print has been all the rage this year and I think that going into 2021 it's also going to be a really good option. So I vote for a houndstooth winter coat because it's making a statement and especially when you're living in Canada like me and winter is six, literally six months of the year. You might as well be making a statement because otherwise it's just black on black. So this coat is actually in an XXL size, which is typically not my usual size, but it's one that I think looks great because it's super oversized and for that reason I love it. It's from H&M and because it is a wrap coat, it's just super easy to cinch in the waist so you get a really, really defined sort of hourglass shape from it, which I love. To me, there's nothing worse than just being super boxy all through winter. So to be able to incorporate some different shapes into your outerwear, I think is a great option. Moving on to coat number two, we have the Teddy Coat, which was obviously made famous by Max Mara and I love their Teddy Coats. They're beautiful, they're super warm, they're normally a wool and cashmere blend and for that reason they'll keep you super super warm while the weather is freezing outside. And something that Max Mara does really well is use amazing, amazing, super high quality materials. The one that I have here, even though it is from H&M, actually does have wool in the composition as well. So if you're looking for a Max Mara dupe, I think H&M is a great way to go. One, because it's more affordable, you're getting basically the exact same look, and because there's wool in it, you know that it's gonna keep you warm. I really don't see this trend going anywhere, so if you haven't invested so far, I suggest you do it. Moving on to coat number three, and this is my favorite. <laughs> it's white in winter time. Winter white to me is just such a breath of fresh air. Living where I do whenever I look out my window, so living where I do, whenever I look out my window, I just see a sea of black coats. And not that there's anything wrong with a good black on black outfit, but winter white is just such a great alternative. So the one I have here is from a brand called JLUX Label, and mine is in a size medium. So one of the things that I absolutely love about this, because it is a little bit oversized in a medium, normally I'd probably go for a small, is that you can really fit a super chunky knit underneath, and it still looks great in terms of sizing. Again, it's got the belt that you can tighten up and really cinch in the waist, and because the buttons are tortoise instead of black, I just think that that gives it a really nice edge. The hardware on it is in this beautiful gold tone. So the D-rings along the wrists and on the little epaulettes on the shoulders just make it a little bit more fashionable and shows that the brand really pays attention to the smaller things. So the next option might be a little bit controversial, but it's fur. And whether it's genuine or faux, fur is something that I love to wear. And just before everybody clicks out of this video because I said genuine, I just want you to consider that especially if fur is already existing, if it's vintage fur like this one is, I really don't think that there's anything wrong with continuing to wear it because one, it's so warm and durable and is also much more environmentally friendly than faux fur is. Having said that, I think faux fur options are great and the faux fur coat that I have on here is also vintage and I love wearing it belted. So either with a skinny belt or a really chunky one like this, it's one of my favorite ways to sort of break up the look and add a little bit more texture to my outfit. Moving right along, I could not do a winter coat video without mentioning a really, really good quality parka. 
So this one I have is from Red Sack. It's also a size medium and I believe it's called the Grace Coat, which I don't know if they make anymore or not because this one is actually from like seven or eight years ago. It's been just incredibly long wearing, which is why I recommend Red Sack so much because they are definitely more pricey to invest in. I think it was about 850 or so so that is a lot of money but when it's minus 20 30 minus 40 because again I live in Canada this is the coat that I go for as you can tell it has two zippers so one outer one that goes up as far as the fur collar begins and then another one underneath that goes all the way up to your chin so it's perfectly warm, it covers your neck, and as you can see, not only the collar, but also the inside of the hood is lined with fur, which just helps to keep you so warm, especially when it's windy or snowing. Another great feature to this coat, which I'd highly recommend if you're looking to invest in one, is getting one that does have the sleeves that cover everything up to your fingertips with just a spot open for your thumb, because there's nothing worse than having cold, windy, blustery snow going up inside of your sleeves and freezing your little wrists off. There's really nothing bad that I can say about this coat. I love it so much and when it is time to invest again, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'll be buying another Red Sack. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Red Sack, but trust me, I would love for it to be. So moving right along, we have my next favorite category, which are capes. And it's not something that people really talk about that often because it most definitely is not trending. Capes are something that I wear constantly, whether it's through the fall or winter, I tend to wear them in the fall just on their own and during the winter, sometimes over a coat. I just love that they add an extra layer of warmth and these ones that are made by the brand. Veneta, I got from a Toronto boutique and they're super, super high quality. They're a 70% wool and 30% silk blend, and then you can tell that they're fur lined. It's something that I think just elevates an outfit a little bit, makes it look a little bit more elegant, and I just tend to wear them on repeat, so I thought that I'd include them in the list, even though it's not something I'm gonna be turning to when it's minus 40 outside. They're really something that you can dress up or dress down and I wear them both belted and loose. So I'll show you both options in the cutaways here, but I really think that it's something that is a little bit different, you don't see that much of, that you'll end up getting so much use out of if you decide to go for it yourself. Now last but not least is this wrap coat. So this is one that I got from the brand Oak and Fort, which are definitely not fast fashion and are not luxury, but in the middle and have a great price point, but the quality for the price is just incredible. I've had this for several years now and once actually got the comment that I look like I was wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> But nonetheless, I keep wearing it because I love it and I don't really care what anybody else says about it, whether I look like I'm getting ready for a bath or getting ready to go out. So this one you can tell doesn't have a hood, but there are plenty of wrap coat options that do if that's something that you wanted to look for. It does get a little bit chilly when it's blustery outside, but I still think that it's something that I would wear when the temperatures are going down, but they're not like at their most freezing. Wrap coats are definitely trending this year, but to make them even more suited to the times, you could get one that has maybe little cap shoulders or a little bit of shoulder pad detail, and I think you'd be suited for the winter of 2021. I hope you enjoyed these recommendations, and if you do decide to purchase any of these, let me know what one you end up going for, and if you have any that you think I should have added to the list, feel free to leave me a comment because I'd love to hear how you dress for the winter weather. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. So this is Aaron after filming this video. And I wish it was colder outside because I am so hot after trying on all those coats. After filming this, I realized that that wasn't actually my whole coat collection. So if you did want to see a video where I show you every single one of my winter coats, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.